like to talk with you today about God's creative ideas for connection in your family. Our families are so driven and pushed these days. And so we're gonna have to really use our yes and our no muscle really strongly, that ruler portion of the spirit that God gave you to push back all this busyness and hectic technology, everything that interferes with real connection real embrace and acceptance that you long for and that your children long for. We all want to be known. We want to be understood and seen and heard. And our children need that from the time they're just little itty bitty. A little baby's looking up at his mom wanting emotional connection. And he's hoping to see the eyes of his mother connecting right into his soul. His heart, his brain, his spirit is being formed when he is bonding with you there as he's nursing. And you know how much you love connection. We long for it. That's how God designed us, to be connected with him and connected with one another in great honor and respect. So God has given us some clues about how to do this. He says that if we'll listen to him and look to him, he wants to bless our spirit. Do you know what that means, to bless your spirit? Listen to these words from Zechariah chapter 8. He is saying to us, your seed is going to grow well. Your vine is going to yield its fruit. The ground that you till, the ground in the heart, is going to be purposeful and you're going to produce crops, and heaven's going to water the seeds. Oh, thank you, God. You're going to water the seeds that I'm planting. And then he says, because I'm there, you don't have to be afraid. Let your heart be strong. Don't let anybody take your joy. Do not be afraid. When we have the Lord Jesus Christ as the center of our heart, he just, his love takes away all fear. And he brings this beautiful development in all the portions of our spirit. I've got a little book here that talks about the portions of our spirit. And uh, there's, there's a really good one that was written uh, by Charles Whale on the redemptive gifts. This is an adaptation of the redemptive gifts. But this just is a little test all the family members can take together that where you can get to know the portions of your spirit. I've got a little colorful book here, Seven Portions of Your Spirit. Get to know how God designed you to be in the image of God. We are created. Imago Dei. So this menorah that is in your spirit. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm tapping the microphone. Sorry. This menorah in your spirit is designed to keep you steady, strong, make you invincible so that you are not shaken you know, we are going to be shaken unless we are well-developed. And we can't do that by ourselves. Children are designed to have parents who bless their spirits every night. Children need to get used to this. Parents are going to come in. And we're not going to let, we're going to push back every other voice, the TV and all these other voices that could tell us who we are. No, we parents are designed to bless the spirit of our children. So they rise up in maturity in all seven portions of their spirit. And when you have this, you will not feel unprepared. You'll be ready to go into the new day because you feel, oh no, the Lord is with me. I have great assurance. I love truth. I'm seeking truth. I'm ready to be a servant. I'm ready to be a helper. I'm ready to spread good news and the seed of God's word. I'm ready. Everything I do will be blessed by the Lord. All these sevens of God are kind of explained here in this little book. If you'd like to see more about this, contact me through Facebook, Nancy W. Conwell. But God has a plan for respect and honor to be developed in your own heart, for yourself, and for every member of your family. That is how to have a family that loves each other, a real family. We've got to talk to each other. We've got to bless each other's spirit. We've got to see each other. We won't know each other except through Jesus Christ and what he says about us. 
because He is the Creator God. He designed us to flourish, be well-developed, well-nurtured. Your sons and daughters are going to be like pillars in a temple. They'll be like um, a well-watered garden. Not neglected, not undeveloped. Mature. Isn't it great to be with mature people who respect each other and really know how to listen and connect well? And I know that's what you want. You want good connection in your family. That's why God gave us all those sevens. They're worth exploring. The rainbow is a seven. The music notes are sevens. There's a bunch of them there in the Word of God. Let me know. Let me hear from you if you'd like to. Thank you.